Greetings, and welcome back, at last, to Let's Play The War Room, everybody's favourite. Last time, as you res distinctly remember, we conquered the last mission. Also, we thought it was the last mission, for in fact there are many more missions to go in The War Room yet. And we have purchased them by doing a little bit extra points grinding on The War Room. Just going back and doing some old maps a little better, most of the time using Hawk, it must be admitted, as you can see. He is a pretty awesome character. Anyway, to the order of the day then, viewers. Pay Dirt, the first of the new War Room maps, is going to be our destination. A battle against El God. It is Colin. And we all know what that means. Oh yes. But we're going to go in all the same. Got free reign of choice again, and I think I'm going to stick with what I know best and go with Hawk, because he is a badass motherfucker. As we all know. So let us begin! Now you'll notice immediately this is an incredibly small map to be battling on, and uh, for Colin, that can sort of be both an advantage and a disadvantage really. It, he doesn't have the mass income which will let him literally just swamp you to death. However, it also means you don't really have an income to easily match his um, higher tech units, because obviously he has stuff like near tanks quicker than you. Anyway, I'll stop digressing and build some infantry, because that's an easy way to start. We know what we're doing. With infantry. Well, I'll tell you what we're doing, viewers. With infantry, we are capturing. We are capturing many things. Capturing is definitely going to be the order of the day. You'll notice also there are islands with uh, silos on to either side, to either corner of the uh, map area. It's very difficult to use all of them, but if you don't manage to use a good chunk of them, Colin will. And Colin will make you pay if you let him do so. I'm going to send this one down here, I think. I don't have an airport yet, though, so I can't even get near to them. So the best thing to do is just stick with what I'm good at. Now, it occurs to me Sammy might be a better choice for this in terms of, you know, actual strategy as opposed to just bumbling around like an idiot, as I often choose to do. Um, because of, obviously, the low uh, income threshold and the small fighting area. But, obviously, Colin can get stuff like Neotanks, so mechs may be not the best choice. It's a difficult one. It's one I always have a lot of trouble with. I'm going to admit this freely. But let's get tanks. Because tanks are the way. Tanks are the way to victory. Tanks are the way to London Town. If, if that was completely not what was really happening. Unfortunately, Colin is going to get to this silo island before we've even so much as glanced at it in, with avaricious eyes. So um, here's what we'll do then. We'll present him with tanks. We'll say, hey, I'm gonna... No, wait, that's completely wrong. <laughs> We're gonna bring tanks to work, as we always must, and uh, capture everything, hopefully, on this side of the bridge here. If we can get everything up to and including that, it's probably the best thing to hope for. We're likely to get dragged into a bit of a slog here, which is uh, unfortunate, and not ever what anybody wants to do. But we may not have a choice. We will pay dirt on pay dirt. Wouldn't it be great if you could pay for things with dirt? It sure would. Unfortunately, he's now got free reign on those silos, and there's not a lot we can do about it. So, yeah, gonna take some hits, and probably on the tank, it must be said. Um, yeah, if I know my enemy, and I do. I'll put the artillery there then, and the infantry, I suppose, should probably move. Yeah, I'm going to get it as far away as possible. I'm trying to think in terms of these missiles are going to come my way, and they are going to hurt. Now, I was thinking about buying a battlecopter just then from here, but bad idea. Air units are hard to use on this map terribly easily because of how small it is and how easy it is to just pack areas with air defense. I'm not going to build anything this turn for the risk of it getting hit by a missile, so that I can replenish my missile damaged forces with something bigger and griblier in the following turn. Let us hope that it works. That was not what I was expecting him to do with that. Honestly, I thought he would put it on top of the tank, but apparently not. That works out better for me, though, as you can probably tell. He hasn't broken down my small wall, such as it is. Of course, now he still does have just more and more missiles he can keep using, which is not... Uh, it's just not ideal. I'm going to confess this to you openly, viewers. My plan is not exactly what I would have wanted. Hang on. 
That's I keep misplacing where my B button is on this controller. I may change it in a minute. Okay, so that can hit both, so I say shoot the anti-air! And if I wipe the tank out, like so, should be a good idea for me. Can I do this? Can I shoot you? Not a good idea. So what I'll do is wait here. But if I wait right here, I won't waste money on repair costs for you. You're simply not worth that. You're simply not worth the time. So build tanks now. Build them forever or forever. Hold your peace. <laughs> it's good to be back in the war room, I feel, viewers, and I have a feeling most of you will probably agree with that sentiment. It's day seven. Already a week has gone by. Interesting choice. And hey, only one more to deal with for the immediate future. And then... No, I... He's not really doing as well as I would have expected. Normally when he gets hold of the missiles, that's kind of the potentially game-ending material, but not this time, it seems. I can... Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Or do I? No, not especially. What I'll do then is I'll put this tank here just so I can get it back to full health, and um, try and stop him capturing that, as well as blocking this recon from being able to rush around here. I think it's a sound plan. One more missile to deal with, but unfortunately we've also got this to deal with now. That could be a potential problem, and it's one I'm going to need to counter with troops of my own. And I may not build anything else, simply because I want to... I, you need to amp up the tech level pretty fast to keep up with Colin, because we all know how broken as shit he is. Okay, that was the last of his missiles, and it was fairly ineffective. He really didn't use them very well, a fact I'm grateful for. He spared my forces uh, most exhaustion. Now then, let's see what we can do in retaliation to his missile plans. I can't hit that battlecopter, which is unfortunate, but what I can do... Finish that off. And not get too close to that in an ideal world. Finish that off, and if we keep an eye on this tank, I can probably stay out of range of that too. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a missile, actually. It's a rare thing that I do that, but at the same time... If I build it here, what range do missiles have, exactly? Same as a rocket, too spare. So, it will reach to here. That's not ideal, actually. Better plan, build it from here. Ha! I'm a genius. Now he can't attack either of the artillery or tank without being shot down. Unless... No, no, he can't do that. He's, he's well shot of doing that. And if I protect my battlecopter as well, in, the, in a similar way... I can keep it around so I can use it, but it'll stop it becoming um, a liability. Now, I can use my set of missiles to inflict some serious pain on him, because look at that grouping right there. I'm tempted to say, though, don't do it to the Battlecopter, because it's a bit of a waste, because if he uses it in any real way, it will be shot down, so I'd rather hit the tank as an extra. I don't think I can get any more than that, though, because I can't hit anything else by moving it there. So we'll just target it here for now. But I do. Suffer my wrath now, you will die, you will fail to stop me now. A couple of infantry just to make sure I can keep up on capturing, because this is a mistake I find I often make in this game, viewers. I'll build my first few rounds of infantry, and then I will promptly forget to build any more. So once they die off, I won't have any way to capture anything. It hurts my economy, it hurts my later game, basically it's a bad idea. <laughs> so don't do it, is the lesson. Now, if I launch another missile at the same spot, we might be able to cripple him in this middle area here. I can actually hit all of those. Can I hit anything better? Not really, no. So the best thing to do, missile right there. Bladoosh. I still unfortunately cannot hit his battlecopter, so I just have to leave it there and hope it doesn't really trouble me too much. Let's see. We want to... St yeah, this is going to be a problem. We can't really get any nearer, so let's just take that out. And, uh, take that out, question mark? Hmm. Only the bottom square, and my battlecopter isn't near enough to reach that. I, what I need to do is try and tempt him, then. But that's not really going to be doable with the missile where it is. And if I move it, it opens up attackable spots. 
I think. Mm, only in the very closest regions. To get to here, I need to move it at least two spaces further forward. But still within range of my missile, which is not going to work. <laughs> that was an unfortunate choice, wasn't it, viewers? Okay. New plan, then. We'll take the tank out with it. It's no longer protected by the missile, so he could very easily just swan on over here and kill it, or at least do some damage to it. But, at the same time, I'm going to build an anti-air this turn to help deal with that. Oh, I can move there. Awesome. Then I will continue to murder you. It's a good thing he doesn't have any more missiles. I would, really would not want to deal with them at this uh, recourse. And an anti-air, just to keep that off my back. And I think another tank as well. We need to get our numbers up. Our numbers will be arriving soon on deck three. Deck three of what you may ask, but I'm afraid that I am unable to tell you. Because I have no idea. <laughs> Day ten. This is actually going better than it normally does. This, though, a problem. The Gold Rush, the broken power of money generation. It seems that Europe could use a Colin right about now. Okay, well, I kind of expected that. Because I... Wait! No, I didn't. That's missile range. He's just boned himself. Welcome to Boner Town. <laughs> there is a sentence I wish I hadn't used. Okay, we can divert that over there. Now, we've got an opportunity to move the artillery. I would like to put it here. So we need to clear the area to make sure I can do that. Now then. What would be the best way to take care of this? The tank, I believe. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Set up a little defensive area. Make sure that is under my control and not his. And just for kicks and giggles, as it were, take a massive risk and hit his rocket from here. He could uh, attack it with this. I have a feeling he's not going to, though, because of the way the AI works in terms of repairs. Okay, we're also going to want to capture this and move infantry forward to start um, capturing further on. I also forgot to have another missile, which I'm going to be tempted to use right here. I think the mech is probably a better thing to damage than the uh, APC, so we'll launch it right there. A big expensive unit like a medium tank is a good thing to do uh, damage to with a missile like this straight after it's built for a couple of reasons. Obvious, the obvious one being put some damage on it before it's even got anywhere. Okay, it'll be repaired back to 9, but that's still something. Also, the more important um, use of doing it, it means it costs money immediately. He's already spent the cost off the tank, and now he has to pay repair costs before he can use it. It's, it's a little bit of a chip finances sort of strategy, if you will. I think it works quite well, though. Now, I, I've got this infantry in a transport copter, and the idea behind it is to put it down here to try and steal some property, but... This artillery combined with these units generally is going to make that not doable just at the moment. So I've got a different plan. I'm going to try and land it over here, maybe steal one or two cities while he's uh, focused on the lower half of things. It's not the greatest plan, I'll admit this to you. So in fact, what I'll do instead of that is put the helicopter in a fairly neutral place where it can move to either side fairly freely. And I'm not going to build anything because I'm going to want to build something like a medium tank or a neo tank in the next turn. I feel I'm being a lot more informative this time around. Perhaps that's true? We'll see. In that case then, let's mix in some wackiness. Let's burn a song to Colin's theme and then have it end on me really quickly. A little disappointing, you may ask. You may claim. Yeah, you see, it's starting to become a Colin map now, as you can see, with all these units springing out of nowhere at the back here. Um, I really want to keep that anti-air as busy as I can for as long as I can to help me get down here. So I'm going to do this with the last missile on the map. And I like it when all the silos are used up, it means I no longer really have to think about them in any uh, meaningful way. I'm also going to do that, just to be a dick, because I'm going to go for this airport with this. Unfortunately, given its location, it's quite hard to do. But not something that's impossible to do, so I'll stick with it. Now, he's not really got a huge amount to attack with, except this tank, so I can move forward quite a lot. I want to try and avoid getting hit by this mech, though. But I think if... Hmm, it depends if he moves this transport copter, which I'm starting to think he probably will. Hmm. I uh, can't really move the infantry far enough to meet shield, effectively. If I just put it here... Well... Yeah... Here's my plan, then. 
do something along those lines. It gives me a meat shield, it also gives me a way to shoot back if he does attack. And it helps me reorganise my forces a little bit. As well as add a neo tank to them. A very strong move indeed. In retrospect, a rocket might have been better given the narrow nature of this area, but neo tanks are hard to argue with. As we all know, the kings of far higher power. Whoops. Moved into that missile's range. Damaged or not, that's still not a great plan. 